Today, I'm gonna do a little Amazon Apartment Essentials haul. Again, we, I sound like a broken record, but we didn't bring a lot of stuff with us. Anyways, these are things that I like and use, uh, and I figured they're worth mentioning. So I'll mention it if you want it. You can get it in the link below. Uh, I have my Amazon storefront. I figured out how to make one of those, so you can shop there if you care to shop. Otherwise, let's just hop right in. Okay, first thing is this cute little portable lamp. Nice and petite. Perfect for a New York City apartment. The cool thing is that it has three different light settings and it's just like a touch tone at the top. Touch, touch pad? You can touch it and <laughs> turn it on. <laughs> and it, it has three different like temperatures of the light, but I only like the warm tone light, so that's what I always use. Uh, I like the shape of it. A lot of other ones I noticed are more of like a vertical shape, but I like the Empire style. And yeah, it's great. I can just take it around, walk around the apartment at night like Ebenezer Scrooge, and it fits everywhere and anywhere I need it to. Yeah, it's great. The only thing I would say is that you do have to charge it quite a bit. I wish the battery life was a, a bit longer, but it's otherwise I don't find it to be annoying. Um, so yeah, love this guy. I use it every day. I bring it around. Like I said, it's just, an, it's just nice to have. I actually have two of these, so would recommend that. Next thing that I have here, and I feel kind of strange, just like having a knife in front of me, but this is a steak knife and has a wooden handle. The brand is Emojoy. I don't know if you can see that, but I actually was at a restaurant and anytime I'm at a restaurant and I like their cutlery or their plates or whatever, I just take a photo of the label and then I will search online and I found that these were on Amazon. So I purchased those when we moved here and um, even though you're not supposed to put them in the dishwasher, I do because I'm a lazy girl. And yeah, the wood has still held up great. So don't sue me, but I'm just, just letting you know if you're lazy like me. I mean, I'm not always lazy, but most of the time I don't want to hand wash it. So anyways, the cutting experience is really nice as well. It doesn't like tear or rip the food it just cuts through really well. So that's probably one of my best purchases, I would say, in terms of like an everyday item that I'm using a lot. Yeah, otherwise, I think most of the other stuff I have to sort of do a little walking tour of the apartment because it's all over the place. So let's get the show on the road. Okay. Definitely an apartment essential is the Bona mop. Um, and also, I got this little like broom snap thing as well. I need to get another one because I just recently got a broom. But, oops, I should take that off. But yeah, this is great. I hide it behind the door because that's what you gotta do. I don't really have a separate closet. And it just smushes in like that and then it hangs here. And then when this is closed, no one is the wiser. So love that. Okay, this is the other, this is the broom that I just got and it's silicone, which is so nice because it doesn't like get all dusty and crusty on the bottom, you know, from when you're brooming and stuff. And it works pretty great on um, carpet which is surprising. So if you need a broom, I would say this has been really nice. It's a lot easier to clean. It does really well. And you can like get underneath the stove, the fridge, all of those places easily. Okay, the next thing is our vacuum. It's just a small little cordless guy and it's really nice and easy to whip around. Our apartment is like 600 square feet, so I can get multiple uses out of this before I have to charge it again. And I like that it has the um, trigger here and you don't have to hold it. You can just like push it and then it will keep running. 
It has three different settings. Then it also comes with like the attachments and then this comes off here and then you can release the bin into the trash. I don't know. For the price, I think it's like 130 bucks, something like that. It's been really great and like we got it right when we moved here so now it has been a full year and it hasn't crapped out on us. So I think it's a good steal. Like it had really good reviews as well which is why I purchased it. Um, yeah, I, I really like it. I think it's super easy to use and it does the job. Um, it has a spin brush. You know how some vacuums like you can turn the spin brush on and off? There's not a control for that, but you can just take the spin brush out or the beater bar, if you will. Yeah, the beater bar. You can take that out if you need to just like do a carpet or something that is not um, supposed to have that on. Okay, and then another thing that I really like is our trash can. It's just one of these little bins and it's attached on the inside of the cabinet. So we have a spot to put our trash. We don't have a good place for anything else. So this is the best solution. Definitely it's on the small side, but like, you know, what are you gonna do? You live in a small apartment. So really like this guy. I'll show you it comes off and then there's like the attachment like that. Put that on, it comes with the lid. It also has a handle, which makes it easy to like grab like that. Love that. Okay, this is our coffee station. And I actually just recently got some accessories for our machine. This is a little wand for Specifically, this is the Breville Barista Pro, and I'm sure like if it has any one of these little um, knobs, it'll work. It's just magnetic, and then you can just like turn it back and forth. It just makes it a little bit nicer of a user experience. The other thing is the SwitchBot. This has been a game changer. You can like connect it via um, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and it'll turn on the machine if you have it connected to their like system so we got all that set up and now it just turns the machine on for us automatically in the morning and we have it set to a timer the other thing that i really like is this rolling like mat it just makes it super easy to push the machine back and forth i had these little they're still on there i can't get them off but i had like these little roller balls under there. I don't think you can see. And they were starting to scratch the counter. So I ended up getting this and it's super nice. You just like push this down and it releases it and there's wheels under there. So it's easy to slide in and out. So love that. Okay, the next thing that has been really nice to have is this magnetic knife strip. I have a knife block, but it just like stuck out too far. And this is just a lot more convenient to just like grab things as you're cooking. And we just pretty much cook, you know, we have this, just this little space here. So I would say if anything, it's like space saving and convenient. Okay, a little look inside this cabinet. Um, it's not very organized, but I did get one of these like riser, um, like a three tiered riser thing. And that has been helpful for the spices. We have like canned stuff in there. Um, so we keep all of our spices in this cabinet and just makes it a little bit easier to see things that are in the back rather than having it all on one level. So that's good. It's also expandable. You see right there, it can like slide in and out if needed. So I have it the full length because obviously we need as much of it as we can get, but it's um, it's expandable. So if, you ha if your cabinet is not that wide, just check the measurements and see if it'll fit in your space. Okay, one of the last things that's kitchen related is this 
sink drain, like strainer thing. Um, in New York, there are no garbage disposals. So this is a super fine mesh strainer and it just pops right in the sink there and then any like food gets caught in there and I can just take it and dump it in the trash or the compost. So that has been nice because now I don't have to worry about clogging the drain and it's stainless steel so you can throw it in the mic or the, the microwave in the dishwasher. Okay moving on to the hallway. I put up these little shoe um holders they're mounted on the wall they're like little sticky thing and this is pretty much where we store our everyday shoes or just ones that we're wearing super nice and tucked away super easy to mount it's like been really nice to have these things so look like that and they fit both my shoes and Nate's shoes so that's just a tip that they fit like bigger and smaller shoes. Also, this table is actually from Amazon. Forgot about that, but of course it's not the best quality. Like it's Amazon furniture. It's not gonna be the best, but it is super narrow. This area is not very wide. So I just needed something that fit the size constraint. And um, I preferred something like this sort of black. It's like a faux wood but I preferred something like this versus like a fake marble or whatever. Um, and then actually my mom is gonna help me make a table skirt to wrap around this. So all of this will be hidden and tucked away. And I think that'll just like be visually a lot better. And then I'm planning to do some artwork here, which is why there's a big rectangle taped onto the wall. Um, other thing that I have hung in the hallway is this mirror from Amazon. It has like, just realizing it's a little dirty, sorry. It had a floor stand and you could lean it, like it could be a standing mirror um, or you could mount it on the wall. And I don't actually really like standing mirrors. I prefer them wall mounted, so we just removed that part of it and then hung it up here and then it's just everybody can see themselves now because before Nate couldn't really see himself so that's the little hallway but yeah the the shoe holders are great the mirror is great it's just like slim frame nice and clean looking it matches like all the black hardware all the black that we got going on already in the apartment okay moving into the guest room. Um, the rest of our shoes are in this closet and we have them on these like over the door shoe hangers, shoe organizers. So they fit small size and big size shoes, <laughs> men's and women's. So that has been good for us to organize our shoes and just like keep them, keep them tucked away. Okay, something I totally forgot is that our curtains or Roman shades, there's one that's down and here's one that's up. These are all from Amazon. Um, they are cordless. They were really easy to install and you just pull them down. These are blackout, I believe. Um, you can see there's a bit of like light leak on the side. None of these style shades are gonna be fully 100%, but that's also just the way that the window frame is. They are just a touch too short for our windows because they're pretty long. I mean, our windows are pretty big, but I didn't wanna do a custom option because it costs so much more. So these are really affordable and they do the job. Here is the other Roman shade that I have. It's super cute. They actually don't have this color anymore. It's like the beige stripe. Um, but again, it's just like, goes up nice. And it's so cute. They have it in gray stripes, gray and white. So if that's your color scheme, then that would be good. But the beige is my favorite. So I got the last one, I think. 
but I do have it linked down below just in case they decide they decide to restock them. I didn't get too much for the bathroom from Amazon, but I did get this shower curtain and it's like extra long. So that's why I got this one because the ceilings here are a bit taller and I just wanted it to go all the way up as high as possible. So it's just kind of like a beige color and it's a pretty good beige. Like this towel is more of like a cream with like yellow undertones. This is like a pretty neutral undertone. So it's not like too yellow or too gray. It's like a really good shade if you just want something pretty basic. The last thing I'm gonna share is our bed frame. It is actually from Amazon and it's just like one of those no box spring needed type frames. So we have all of this extra storage space under the beds now. We have it in our room and it's like a, or yeah, our bedroom and in here. This room is so basic. <laughs> There's literally nothing on the walls. It's just the bed in here and some curtains. But yeah, that has been super nice to have the extra storage space under there. So that is pretty much everything I've purchased. If I ever got something, it'll still be in my storefront and you can get it there. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.